Good morning everyone from Universal Orlando Resort. We are here this morning to take advantage of a perk of being an annual pass holder, as well as a perk if you are staying on property at a Universal Resort, and that is early park admission. They open up Islands of Adventure one hour prior to the official opening time, and we're gonna get to ride Velocicoaster, Hagrid's Forbidden Journey, basically with like little to no weight. So I'm excited to see how many things we can get on this morning during early park admission. We'll talk about it a little bit more once we get inside. Let's go in and see what we can get on. As we're making our way into City Walk this morning, the Universal Orlando Resort sign still has not come back yet. So Universal Studios rarely does early park admission, so we are actually gonna head to the left and make our way towards Islands of Adventure. And welcome! Please have your tickets ready to stand. All right, so we officially made it inside Islands of Adventure. We had to wait about five minutes in the line to scan our tickets. But we're here. So when we came in, we went over to the right and we we're gonna make our way through Seuss Land. And it looks like that's where everybody else is going too. I think we're gonna try and get on Hagrid's first thing in the morning. Torn between Hagrid's and Velocicoaster, but I think we're gonna go with Hagrid's. So we were planning on starting with Hagrid's, but I actually just checked the Universal app and Hagrid's is a 120 minute wait. So the early park admission has been open for like 10 minutes and it's already a two hour wait. So we're actually gonna start our morning off with Velocicoaster. And according to the app, the Velocicoaster was only a 15 minute wait. And Velocicoaster is my favorite ride here. So 15 minutes for my favorite ride, can't beat it. And the app was right, it is only a 15 minute wait. So let's go have a ride on my favorite ride. This is actually really crazy. I've never walked through the queue this fast before. There's not a lot of better ways you can wake yourself up in the morning than with a ride on the Velocicoaster. Maybe some coffee, not really much of a coffee drinker, so I decided to opt for Velocicoaster. But now we're gonna make our way over to Forbidden Journey. Like I said, it's only a 25 minute wait during early park admission, and we wanna to try to get on as much as we can in the hour. So this would be the second attraction of the hour. So the time is 8.40, and there's about 20 minutes left in early park admission. Hagrid's is currently a 180 minute wait. Forbidden Journey is a 25 minute wait. Velocicoaster is a 40 minute wait. And then the other attraction that's open during this hour is Flight of the Hippogriff, which I don't see it on here right now, but the last I checked it was 15 minutes. There she is, bright and early with the sun peeking up over her. It is Hogwarts Castle, and that's exactly where we're headed next to take a ride on Forbidden Journey. No one else has read that book of money. On three. One, two, three. We just got off of Forbidden Journey and the park is officially open to day guests. So early park admission is now over. And in that hour, we were able to get on two of the biggest rides here at Universal. We were able to get on Velocicoaster and we were able to get on Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. So I would say it was pretty successful. I will say I did not expect the wait for Hagrid's to be a three hour wait during early park admission. That's actually really crazy. And that actually just goes to show that there are more people staying at Universal than we think there are. Ever since Disney reopened and took away some of the things that made Disney Disney, that a lot of people are coming over to Universal, 
I can say that that is probably the case because I've been to early park admission in the past when I've stayed on Property Universal and I've never seen a wait anywhere close to that. So a three hour wait for Hagrid's shows that there's a lot of people staying here on property. And I mentioned in the beginning of the video that this is a perk for resort guests as well as annual pass holders. And if you are a premier or preferred annual pass holder, you were able to come to early park admission. If you have premier like I do, you could come anytime they're offering it. If you have a preferred annual pass, you can only come on select days. But for the most part, it is usually just Islands of Adventure that does early park admission. And the available attractions during that hour are Hagrid's, Forbidden Journey, Flight in the Hippocrif, Velocicoaster, and Ollivander's is open as well. So out of the four attractions, we were able to get on two of them. And I could have gotten on Flight of the Hippogriff, but I never really go on that. But uh, Hagrid's is the one that I wanted to do, but a three hour wait was just definitely not happening this morning, that's for sure. After I got off of Forbidden Journey, I saw that the wait time for the King's Cross Station, the Hogwarts Express, was only 10 minutes. And there's a couple of things I want to talk about over at Universal Studios. So let's hop on the Hogwarts Express. <laughs> And just like that, we are over at Universal Studios. Now, there's not a whole lot new here that I wanna talk about today, but there are a couple of small park updates that I do wanna cover. So let's go take a walk around Universal Studios and talk about some of those changes that are coming and might be coming soon. So the first thing I wanted to cover today is the meet and greet location for Donkey is now under Scrim. And Shrek, Donkey, and Fiona will be moving to a new location somewhere within Universal Studios. So right behind these walls is where you used to come over and meet Shrek, Donkey, and Fiona. Like I said, this is under construction right now and part of the Shrek demolition. So they will be moving to a new location. And I think I know where it is, but we're gonna go take a walk over there and see for ourselves. But you can see the construction walls over here have all minions on them. The minions have taken over <laughs> the donkey meet and greet location or the former location so shrek and donkey have not started meeting at their new location just yet but i think i know where it's going to be and we're over here by the woody woodpeckers kid zone area and we're going to make our way this way and show you where i think you'll be able to find shrek and donkey soon so right over here next to dreamworks destination this used to be a barney gift shop and it looks like this is where the new meet and greet location for shrek and donkey is going to be because these cobblestone brick walls this is what was over by their other meet and greet location so it looks like this is going to be where you can find shrek and donkey i just want to call out that that has not been confirmed by universal just yet now that area really isn't used for a whole lot and there's already a dreamworks meet and greet area back there so it does make a lot of sense and the stonework that they moved from their other location to this location suggests that this is where it's going to be but again not confirmed by Universal, we'll have to see in the weeks ahead once they start meeting and greeting again. The thing that's nice about getting here so early in the morning is look how empty some of the streets are here at Universal. Some of the wait times are a little bit long, but if you're just walking around, this is so nice. So our last update here at Universal Studios brings us to Williams of Hollywood, which is the prop shop here. And there's been a heavy rumor going around that this will be closing within the next week. So we're gonna go inside ask the team members and see if it actually is closing. So the prop shop is really cool because they actually have all park used items here. You can find some costumes, you can find some things from, you know, Mardi Gras or even Halloween Horror Nights. It's really neat. And they still have a whole bunch of these Shrek 4D glasses for $5. These were the glasses that you would wear when you would go on the Shrek 4D attraction, which of course is no longer. Okay, so here's the deal. We talked with a team member over at the prop shop, somebody that works in the store. And I said, is it true? Is the store actually closing down? And the team member said, that's the word on the street, but we have not been told anything official yet. So this is supposed to close in like a week or less than a week. And the team members that are working in the prop shop still have not been told anything official by Universal. So whether or not it closes is kind of yet to be seen, but it seems like this is just a rumor at this point. Nothing looks any different in the prop shop. Nothing has been cleared out. It looks like they actually have a couple of new things that were in there. So we'll see if it closes. But according to the team member, he's not really sure and they haven't been told anything official yet. And we generally do not cover rumors on this channel. We like to stay away from rumors and really only talk about things that are confirmed by the company. 
but the prop shop is such a cool concept that I wanted to at least mention it because the, the concept is really unique, like that you can go in there and buy things that were used in the parks. It's really cool. But before we head out of Universal Studios, we're going to check out the store and see what kind of merchandise they have for Jurassic Park Dominion because that's Universal's current big blockbuster. So the first thing that caught my eye when I came into the store was this metal fight poster of the Allosaurus versus the Carnotaurus. And we haven't seen the movie yet, so I'm assuming there's some sort of like underground dinosaur fighting ring. Interesting. And then they also have a ringer t-shirt. Oh, and it has the same design on the back. The fight of the year. They also have this t-shirt. It says Jurassic World Universal Studios on it. I've seen a lot of guests wearing this. It looks really, really nice. It's actually really soft too. And it is $40. They also have these refillable water bottles with the Biosyn Genetics logo on it. Again, haven't seen the movie yet, so not exactly sure what that is, but I'm assuming it's some sort of lab. And then they also have a kid's shirt over here with the Biosyn Genetics on it. There's another t-shirt here with the Biosyn Genetics on it for $25. Check out this mini backpack as well for $55. Has, has a lot of things going on on it. <laughs> a lot of different words and sayings. It's got the Caution Live Dinosaur tag. Oh wow, check this out. I have not seen this yet here at Universal. It's a wooden model of the Velocicoaster ride vehicle. It's really cool. Kind of reminds me of like those tin metal things that Disney sells of characters and signs. But this one's actually a lot bigger. It comes with the cool base that says Velocicoaster on it. It's really neat. So in addition to the Jurassic World merchandise, there are some new items from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And they have these new t-shirts over here for Diagon Alley. And then there's one for Hogsmeade. But that is awesome. It says explore mystical Diagon Alley. It's got the Wizarding World logo on the sleeve right there. This is $27. And then here is the Hogsmeade shirt, also $27. These are really cool. I like the design of these a lot. It's kind of like a, like a travel poster. And they also have that same design on a tumbler. So they have a Diagon Alley one, and then there's also a Hogsmeade one as well. And these are $19. I'm sure there are some other things that are new as well, but something that I did see over on Instagram is this new uh, dragon. They have the dragon from the top of Gringotts Bank, and you could bring them home in the form of a plush. $25. And the last big update from Universal right now is that they are officially opening the Great Movie Escape. These are gonna be themed escape rooms to Jurassic Park and Back to the Future. And Universal's Great Movie Escape does not have an opening day, but it will be opening this year. I think those escape rooms that they're bringing here to City Walk are a great addition. I always felt there needed to be a little bit more for like the whole family to do here at City Walk. It's very nightlife heavy, and this kind of checks that box off. So I'm excited to check this out once it opens. I've never done an escape room in my life, but I think I'm going to try this one out, and we'll show you what it's all about once it does open. But it's a great addition to City Walk. It's something for the kids to do outside of the parks and it's something that the whole family could do together, so I'm all for that. And after a fun morning here at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, checking out early morning admission, I think it's time we make our way back to the car and head home. All right, everyone, that is gonna do it for our morning here at Universal. Overall, I think early park admission is a really, really great benefit to staying on property. It's a great benefit if you're an annual pass holder, and if you wanna get on a couple of the biggest rides in the park, you can do it. Now, again, Hagrid's had a very, very long wait this morning, but if you're staying on property, you get here even earlier than I did. I only got here about 7.45, which was definitely a little bit too late. So try to get here earlier so that you wait in the line and you can go right to your favorite attraction. But overall, it was a lot of fun and I think it's definitely worth it. It's an awesome perk to staying on property. Like this is what all the parks used to be. And then, you know, Disney started to take stuff away. Universal started to add stuff. And like I said, just based on the wait time alone for Hagrid's, it's telling me a lot more people are staying here at Universal. So if you guys enjoyed coming along with me this morning, make sure you give the video a nice big thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on all our videos to come. And with that being said, we'll see you guys real soon.